I visited the, the, uh, visited the grave of the 47 woman yesterday and there were quite a lot of people paying their respects even if it was early in the morning. So maybe yeah. you can tell us a bit, a bit about what it still means today to the Japanese people. Is it just something you learn in school about or is there more to it? Uh, the, I would say the, the moment that I realized that they closed the banks and the schools on the 14th of December in parts of Japan, I thought this is important. When they don't close the school, when they don't close the schools on Christmas, and yet they close the schools on the day to honor the 47 Ronin, I knew this is something that's hugely, hugely important to that culture. And it was from that point interpretation, and our interpretation of that was empowered by the tradition of Chushangura, which is the dramatic retelling of the story. Um, you know, I wasn't familiar with the story before I read the screenplay, and. It wasn't until, you know, Carl came on board, until there was a director, that I started to get into that aspect of it. Um, and toward that end, just, you know, read a, some, a bit about it and, and re uh, watched a, um, a couple of the Chushingura movies, um, Inagaki and uh, Mizuguchi. Um, so I'd seen those two works. Um, and then, you know, saw the Hello Kitty 47 Ronin Towel, um, which to me was just the impact of that, the breadth of it. Um, yeah, a lot of people knows and um, love this story, but some young generation uh, don't know what's the Chushingura. <laughs> so it's a good chance to re-examine for the young, young Japanese audiences too, I believe. Uh, even we changed a lot from the original, but uh, after they watched the movie, oh, was that the true st based on true story? And I didn't know that. Okay, let's find out. And then watch the DVD for Mizaguchi or um, Kabuki theater. You know, if uh, some of them think about that, you know, it, it's a big meaning of this movie, I believe. Um, can you talk a bit about how this started out and what attracted you? Because, as I understand, you not only agreed to act in it, but you also pushed forward with the project? Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I read the first script by the, by the writer Chris Morgan, and I was met with the producer, Scott Stuber, um, a few years ago. And, um, and then trying to get it made, uh, they found the director Carl Wrench, uh, and you know he and I met, and um, I had seen some some of his commercials and seen what he had done with a short called The Gift, and was you know I saw that he had a great facility with World Creation, kind of liked that idea, and um, and so that's kind of what I did, you know, kind of being a part of it. And, yeah. These audiences that grow up grew up with the story. Do mm -hmm. you think they are skeptical or are they excited about how America sees them? Uh, I think the uh, we have both. You know, some pe people was uh, against feeling to rearrange like this. You know, and then some people are curious how can can they make <laughs> by Hollywood. But um, I believe you know we uh, try to. Um, make a film to the world, not only, you know, we discussed a lot. So, um, completely different from original. So, I want to, Japanese audiences will watch this movie, you know, based on or inspired by Chushingura, but completely different fantasy action movie to the world. Um, that's my hope.